We've got a range of different people from different disciplinary backgrounds here, mostly medical science and artists. And I have noticed already that um, we have little clusters of artists and clusters of medical scientists. And hopefully, by coffee or by, by lunchtime, I'm hoping that those clusters will integrate a bit and we'll have mixed clusters because that's what this event is all about. It's about all trans, multi, cross disciplinary, getting rid of disciplinary. And I think that's really nice because it doesn't even mention disciplines. We're focusing on the subject of transplantation from the particularly heart transplantation from the point of view of donor families. But we're also focusing on co-inquiry and how we look at such deep subjects and rich subjects from a totally multi-trans interdisciplinary perspective. This workshop is the latest event in a project that's actually been going for over 10 years and was started by Heather Ross, who's a cardiologist, Patricia McKeever, who's a health researcher, um, and Margaret Sheldrick, who's a philosopher. The project is based in Toronto. This is actually the second event that we've held in the UK. We started by bringing the project to the University of Westminster in Harrow in November, where we had two exhibitions. And an event similar to this, but just a one-day event. And some people were there at that and have some idea what, of what we're doing. I know several of you are new to the project and kind of catching up to speed on just what it is we're doing. Unfortunately, Pat, Margaret and Heather are not able to be with us for various reasons, but we do have Susan, um, who is the psychiatrist in the team and who will talk a little bit about the project in a minute. Oh, sorry, I should also introduce other members. Andrew's just been here, Ingrid Bartman, Tamara El Sheikh, oh sorry, Ingrid's another of the artists. Tamara El Sheikh is an art historian. Emily Jam, who's another artist. Dana Thelberg, who's another artist. We look as though we're heavily art-orientated, but the team as a whole is very interdisciplinary. At the beginning, we had some disciplinary problems, problems of what on earth do artists do and why they're here. But over the years, that's changed completely. And in your information pack, you should find a paper called Messy Entanglements, which tracks that process a little bit and should introduce you into the kind of spirit of the project. This event is about opening up the project and inviting all of you as participants, not as passive observers. That's why currently we've, we've created some smaller group sessions so that people, everybody can have an input. And in that spirit, we also have some speakers who are attached to the project for the first time. Laura Machin, Stephanie Parsons, <laughs> and Katie Morley. Katie will be speaking tomorrow. You'll hear from Stephanie and, and uh, Laura at the moment. People will be giving you, will be speaking at the moment to give some kind of input, but then again, we're hoping that the whole thing will be about discussion. So, I've been asked to say a little bit about the sort of the very roots of the project. And, uh, Heather and I worked together on the heart transplant team and also with the cardiac failure, heart failure program. And we had a very disturbing case in 2002 where a gentleman came in, brought in by ambulance with shortness of breath. And when they did the evaluation, he had sort of bleeding around his heart, and it all seemed a little much. He finally allowed to me that he had fallen on his letter opener in his study, uh, which of course wasn't true. He had taken an exacto knife and had decided that he was going to cut his heart out. And so that was rather surprising <laughs> and distressing to the team. And we sort of spent a lot of time talking about it, but we're still thinking in a, about it in a very kind of conventional biomedical way. In 2005, there was an interdisciplinary conference at U of T, and Margaret Sheldrick, who's a member of our team, was talking about intercorporeality using the example of Siamese twins. And Heather was there talking about some of the excitement of technology in healthcare. And Pat McKeever was the organizer of the conference, and they all had lunch together. And Margaret began to think maybe she could study intercorporeality in the heart transplant context. And then they invited me to come, and we asked uh, when it was just around this time that that initial conference was held in that summer, we met and sort of talked about things, looked at uh, Margaret and Pat both interviewed some of our patients. They found very different things from what we found. And we started to look at how we might put together a study. And then in 2006, we did sort of some more work informally 
putting together a protocol and getting ethics and being able to move it forward. As part of the uh, grant applications, there was a request for a knowledge translation strategy. So both Pat, who was originally a nurse and then uh, was a PhD critical theory sociologist and healthcare researcher, had done a lot of work looking at the intersection between the arts and uh, children with disability. And Margaret had a strong interest in the arts and had uh, connections with Alexa and I think with Andrew at that point as well. And there was sort of some discussion about kind of bringing the artists in. And initially we were sort of like, well, what would that do? But maybe it would be a way of kind of being different and novel. And I sort of am so excited that we did it because we did it for all the wrong reasons at the start. <laughs> <laughs> I found so much more uh, coming out of it. As you said, there were sort of lots of challenges <laughs> over uh, the years. Jen Poole, who's a, Jen is a social worker, she says she's a recovering social worker, she went on to, uh, to do a PhD in critical theory. Uh, joined us, and we've had some other people coming in and out of uh, the project. Enzo DeLuca is an advanced practice nurse who's been one of our interviewers, and Oliver Mothner, and have been very integrated into the study design and to the analysis. And I think what's been really exciting is that as we've evolved over time, that we've really become an integrated uh, group and really have had a process, I think, of co inquiry and co design. So I'm really thrilled to be here um, today. It's, so exciting. And I'm the favorite part of one of the artists on the project. And then again, it's a really fantastic project that started uh, for us in 2007. So we're going in for a little year. One of the longest projects. And it was also a project that did not begin in any way. So it wasn't that we decided we wanted to work with a team. It was simply this very organic process that Margaret knew Andrew and Alexa. Alexa knew me who was in the residency with Beth many years ago. Patricia McKeever knew uh, Catherine Richards, who's no longer who's out of the project for the second phase, but uh, who's no longer part of the technology work in Canada. None of us picked each other or the project. And so I think in some ways that was a great one of the strengths. We didn't come with a really informed intent on what we would do. We have, as Susan said, really evolved I think, into a really interesting a team of an Aria Round the Heart project. It took us two years to get ethical approval from all our different universities. It was the artists got funded first, which was kind of unheard of because at least in Canada, the artists are not really as important as the hard sciences. Certainly, our pay conservative. And so it was just everything was contradictory. And I think one of the most exciting things when that came out of it was the sort of how we had to challenge our own often invisible transdisciplinary uh, bias. And that's an ongoing thing, but I'm still very much part of the conversation. And I think in the way that it has become a transdisciplinary practice, that I think we've really altered uh, our practices in the relation to the arts and sciences and social sciences because of it. So I'm also very much looking forward to this day and to the conversation today. <coughs>